Welcome to Patrick, Mr. Patrick's Corner. Today we're going to talk about AB5 again. Uh, I had a, one of my subscribers, I don't have too many, he asked me, is there anything we could do to put more pressure on the state of California to ease up? Well, there's two ways. We, there's actually three ways. The first way is use a phone bank. Get your, get your wives, your sisters, your mom, all your family to call the assemblyman or senate in your district and explain to them if they don't do anything about AB5 this November, they won't have a job. Also, go down to the, send some people down. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lot. Say 10 or 15 and asked to speak to the assemblyman or the senator or his top aide. And you're going to explain to him again, we, this is a bad law. And it was, it was supposed to be for BIP drivers and the BIPs are exempt. You keep putting the pressure on them. You keep phoning them in. You go, if you're a religious person, you go to your church, you ask your, your minister or your, uh, you know, or your rabbi or whoever. If you're a Sikh, I don't know how to do that, but they're probably a guy in charge of your temple, and ask him to ask his petitioners to write to their assemblyman and their senate, send emails, uh, paper works good. If you don't have a computer, do it. And then call them and keep insisting that this is a bad rule and it must be changed. Also, keep pressure on the ports. Also, work their districts, walk them, send out flyers, like uh, get dressed properly like, uh, like Mormon missionaries and keep the pressure on. The other way is a little more uh, expensive, but you could be one giant corporation. You find a good corporate, a uh, good uh, accountant who does incorporations, or a good attorney that does incorporations, and you all become a member of a corporation. Instead of having individual authorities, you have one massive master authority, and you all become stockholders in that authority. So guess what? You're independent. You're not independent contractors anymore. You're basically incorporated, and this would cut down your fees. It would also put the 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 uh, grease under the skids of the Teamsters and these corp and these guys because you're you're a corporation now. That's a little harder, a little more expensive. Do all three. That's my suggestion to you. Keep up the pressure. If you don't pressure them, they're they're not going to do anything because they think you're a bunch of stoops because you drive a truck. It's time you stand up. Keep the pressure on at the ports. Keep the ports closed down, keep the slowdown working, and go out there and really, really send the message. Go to the supermarkets, give out informational flyers. That's all legal. Have in the informational picket lines. That's okay, too, because you're informing them of what you need. You're you're petitioning as a as an American citizen. That's the first your your first amendment. You can lobby Congress. You can lobby your state senators. You can lobby your assemblymen. You can lobby the governor. Of course, I think he's brain dead, but that's that's my personal opinion. And to keep the pressure on. Once you keep the pressure on, something's going to bust one way or the other. So that's my talk right now for AB five. Thank you and have a nice day.